So its official Activision have now confirmed that they are not doing supply drops in COD 2020 and especially not in Modern Warfare 2019. If that is the case, woo! Because I swear that was what was on my mind all the time, right? So no more loot boxes, no more MTX. Great, have a good day, guys. That's the end of this video. That being said, I'm signing out. Oh, except one thing. Activision removing loot boxes, which is their primary source of income uh, for the past three years. And they made over $800 million on Black Ops 4 alone. And they're just saying that they're not going to be doing loot boxes. Really? Um, I would just like to let you guys know that Activision is the same company that said there would be no supply drops in Black Ops 3. No supply drops in Black Ops 4. Modern Warfare would be pure. Uh, and it wasn't. It was riddled with supply drops. And the biggest part about this is... um. When they said that the consumers in Black Ops 4 are looking forward to the content and are enjoying the content that they put into the game. Meaning, whenever a new operation would come in, and you're trying to work hard to open your reserve cases to get an item you want, if that new operation came in, you have now 300 plus more items into the loot pool. And you could either keep getting them individually with duplicates by one reserve, or you could waste time playing the game and get a duplicate protected crate. I'm telling you, the release is literally in a slightly less than a week because it's on Thursday now. Holy cow, I'm looking forward to not playing Black Ops 4 anymore because I don't even play COD anymore at this point. The, uh, footage, the only footage I've got now is pretty much from Modern Warfare's beta and alpha. And Black Ops 4 was terrible. Now, I'm sure there's going to be people next year that say, Oh, Black Ops 4 was such a good game, but this time I don't see that being the case. It had no cannon, it had no no campaign even, it had a terrible zombies, very little content for zombies, too much content for the streams, and too many ways to buy car points. Now, if they said that they're doing a battle pass system, uh, and if that's the case, that's pretty promising, it'll be just like Black Ops 4 tiers, you might be able to buy them directly, if that's the case, that's an okay way for them to get money, because buying tiers is at least you know what you're getting. The battle pass, you know what you're getting. Everything is concrete, set in stone. It's right there in front of you. You know what you're working toward. They also have a premium battle pass, which is probably a good thing to consider getting because if that doesn't make enough sales, they're going to go back to MTX the next year, even though they said that they won't. Of course, then again in the past, they have said the developers are the ones that say there will be no loot boxes, but Activision has their hands tied. So if that's the case, we can kind of confirm that this is the first time Activision has actually spoken on the matter when it comes to banning loot boxes, so maybe there's a little bit more leniency, but still Activision is all about making money. Again, if the premium battle pass does not sell, uh, which is basically tiers that are cosmetic only, mind you, if that does not sell well, they're going to revert right back to MTX because they want to make money. The suits at the top of Activision are always about making that money. And if they don't do it and they don't impress the shareholders, then what's the point of actually helping the consumer out, right? It's a terrible business practice, but we can't really do anything about it if that happens again. We, as a community, have finally won the war against Activision. We've always said, yes, there are people that buy in and just don't even inform themselves with YouTube. But the thing is, it's going to happen now. They've heard us all. They've heard all of our complaints. Um, and now you know we have no supply drops, especially after that infamous supply drop photo taken by Nero Cinema. Now, uh, a different contention uh, is in Black Ops 4, I believe, uh, who was, I believe it was E. coli Expresso, he made a video on how much it would cost you if you got everything in Black Ops 4's reserve cases. I believe it, it was well over $1,000, I don't know if it was $3,000, I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, it's a very good video. You ought to go check it out. I might just link it in the description below. It's very... And it's the thing is, it's a little outdated, too, because he didn't even account for the next operations that came. I believe it was Apocalypse Z and uh, the last one. What was the last operation called? I don't even fucking remember. Dark something. Um, he didn't even account for that. So add 300 more times 3 to that title. So 900. So you'll probably be about $4,000 playing that game and getting everything in it, which is useless because nobody cares. Um, but... I cannot wait to stop playing Black Ops 4. I'm sure you guys cannot wait for Modern Warfare's release next week. Already we have a few sighs of relief that there are no MTX systems coming. However, we do have to consider one thing, is that the Battle Pass is not going to be at there at launch, which is another great thing, because that way there's no other sort of way to get things, because at least they'll work out some tweaks, and then they'll put it in after a little bit. If there are direct purchases, that'll be great. That is not 
any loot box thing and the loot boxes are all about random number generators or RNG. We can't stand that. That's why we hate it so much with the peacekeepers and the A94s, everything behind that paywall. Well, anyway, guys, hopefully you are as excited as I am. And then again, I probably won't have enough time to play it. However, hopefully you guys will enjoy the uh, game next week if you've got the Operator Edition. That's probably what I've pre I'm pre-ordered. i going to pre-order. Um, if you got the Operator Edition or the Operator Enhanced, which has card points to it, which you can earn directly, by the way, in the stream. Um, just, well, hopefully you guys enjoy it next week. I mean, it, it's coming around the corner. We've been waiting for so long. The days are ticking by. Um, but with that being said, guys, I'm Cyblox, and I'm starting out.